Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. I often find myself staring at actors' wrists while I'm watching movies, completely distracted by their amazing looking watches. So tonight I thought I would share with you five of my favorite movies that have brilliant wrist shots in them. So these are movies that watch lovers can absolutely enjoy. Now, bear in mind, as I go through these, I am horrible at identifying watches in the wild. And I know that many of you out there are super skilled in that area. So if you know what these pieces are, please feel free to comment below and let us know. I've arranged these movies so that my favorite one is listed last. So let us begin. The first movie on my list is Pump Up the Volume. Ah, the angsty movies of my youth. I feel like this movie really appealed to a lot of us. The idea of having your own pirate radio, or zines, or whatever we were doing at that time. This movie is just great. Now you'll notice that in the cover art for this movie, Christian Slater is actually wearing something more akin to a G-Shock. But in the movie itself, he's wearing a piece that's far more mid-century in size and aesthetic. And it looks absolutely brilliant. There are tons of wrist shots in this movie. Pretty much any time he's doing his broadcast, wrist shots all over the place. This movie is super entertaining. Uh, Christian Slater's great in it, and that watch is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what it is. I've done some searching, but didn't find any information but I love the way it looks. The next movie on my list is Breakfast at Tiffany's. And not only do you get a few brilliant wrist shots of a watch worn on the bottom of the wrist, military style, but the fashion is absolutely on point. And I love Capote's writing, just brilliant. I love the hilarious cocktail party scene that's just way over the top. And of course, Audrey, just amazing. The fashion is brilliant, the plot is great and entertaining, it's just an amazing movie. So even though the wrist shots are kind of sparse, I still highly recommend this one to watch nerds. The next movie on my list is The Apartment, and this movie actually served as inspiration for Mad Men, amongst other movies. And it was very edgy in its time. I mean, the idea of loaning out your apartment for fun time, and Shirley MacLaine as an elevator operator with short hair even. The fashion in this movie is brilliant. You can see the Mad Men inspiration in the great architecture inside the office building. And if you look really closely, you'll catch some amazing looking wrist shots. This movie is super fun to watch, especially for its time. It's very entertaining. I've seen it many times and I highly recommend it. The next movie on my list is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I absolutely love this movie. I feel like it is actually one of Tarantino's best. It takes the best qualities of his movies without some of the overdrawn out dialogue and other things that I feel were kind of negatives. It's just, it is a fine-tuned version of the best of what he does. And I love the way it takes advantage of history to infuse built-in tension in this movie without having to do anything except set the time and place. And of course, Brad Pitt's watch. No matter what you think of Bund straps, his watch looks so cool and it perfectly fits his character as a stuntman. Now, if you look closely, you'll see some other amazing looking watches in this movie as well. I absolutely recommend this movie, especially if you're a Tarantino fan and if you love the nostalgic era of Hollywood that it's set in. And my favorite watch nerd movie of all time so far is Bad Times at the El Royale. This movie is so much fun. Now, honestly, the first time that I saw it, I was very so-so about it. 
but I've rewatched it since then and it's totally grown on me and I've seen it more times than I can count. This movie is very much The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton in that huge, horrible events end up turning out to be kind of the opposite. Humongous conspiracies end up being seedy behavior by owners, or horrible crimes end up actually being heroic gestures. All of the big reveals take big things and expose them as being smaller than they originally appeared. The sets in this movie are absolutely amazing, and my boy John Hamm is in it, and of course he's brilliant as ever. And when he gets into his hotel room, we see so many absolutely amazing wrist shots. I believe he's wearing a vintage Omega, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It looks awesome. And this movie is so great. The more I watch it, the more I love it. I love the sets, the fashion. I love the era that it takes place in. I just absolutely love this movie and highly recommend it. And we have a bonus entry, and this one isn't a movie, but a TV series, Lovecraft Country. Now in this show, I could not keep my eyes off of the main character's field watch, which he wears upside down military style. And it just looks so great. It's so mid-century sized, tough and rugged looking, and you'll catch a couple other watches in here as well. The fashion in the show is just brilliant, especially when it comes to the co-star. And I believe you pronounce her name Journey Smollett. You all probably know her. I didn't know her name. But her, the fashion that she wears in this show is just brilliant. And Lovecraftian beasts. So there you have it. Five amazing movies and one bonus TV series that watch nerds can absolutely appreciate. Thanks for watching.